All right, Henry, we're broadcasting live. Big Data Dudes here. All right, welcome, guys. So uh, when I was just uh, setting this Hangout up, it said that you can broadcast for up to eight hours. And <laughs> I think we need to try that maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know if we have eight hours worth of content for you all. <laughs> uh, it's a good point. I'm sure I could talk for a while, though. We'll have to try it. <laughs> we'll, we'll annoy some people. So anyway, folks, uh, Big Data Dudes are here. We're trying a new format for our videos. We've done some crazy things that have flames, drama, all sorts of wild stuff. We were in Las Vegas. Make sure you check out those videos and to let us know what you think. But for this, we're going to get raw. We're going to get unplugged. And we're going to try just doing this all kind of live. So Henry, why don't you tell people what we're going to show them today? Yeah, absolutely. So we've been busy doing a lot of development work. And we thought it might be cool to show everyone how easy it is to provision your very own IBM Big Insights cluster. <laughs> I love it. That's some good product placement right there. Exactly. Cool. So yeah, so we're going to show you folks how to set up a Big Insights cluster on Bluemix. Um, it's going to, you know, a nice Hadoop cluster. Cluster. It's going to be really easy to set up, really quick. And uh, if you've ever tried to set up a Hadoop cluster before, not using a nice little cloud uh, setup like this, you know that it can take time. It can take effort. You need your own servers. Uh, you know, there's a lot of money involved in buying a server and all that stuff, et cetera. But we're going to show you how to do it really easily and hopefully extremely quickly here. So let me try sharing my screen. We'll kick this off. All right, we'll do this. And let's see here. Chrome wants to share the contents of your screen. There's the recursion. Try this one. All right, let me let me see here. Henry, can you see my screen at all? I see our YouTube channel. Okay. Now, what about now? Can you see anything? Still on the YouTube channel. Okay. All right. No problem. We can take care of that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to log into Bluemix. There we go. I'm already logged in. We're going to give it a second to load. And right now you can see that I have no apps or services set up in my Bluemix account. And I'm going to change that right now. So I'm going to go up to here to catalog. And up here in the search box, I'm going to type in big insights. There we go. We're going to click on this big insight for Apache Hadoop blank right here. And we can read about the big insights for Apache Hadoop service. There are some documents that we can look at and learn more about how to use it. We can scroll down here further. We're going to click create. There we go. So that was easy. So Henry, I think uh, I just added the service. It was that easy, right? Yeah, as simple as a single button click. You know, and if the dialogue was um, any quicker, we <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut that part out. Yeah, now there's no cutting. This is uncut. <laughs> this is raw. This is live. This is what people need to see. All right. So so now that we have that service in place, now we actually can go in and we can uh, create a cluster. So we're going to click on Manage Cluster. Excellent. So right now, I don't have any active clusters that it's showing. So I'm going to click the plus button. Now, the real question is, if I lower this screen, can people see our cameras again? Ah, they can't. Not yet. Not while I'm sharing, huh? Nope. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. Fair, fair enough. So right on this screen, we can basically enter in some information for our cluster. We give it a name. We put in a username, we blah, blah, blah. We put in a password. Right now, I'm just going to put in some random stuff. 
<laughs> there we go. And then we come down here, and we basically can decide if we want to, say, start off with one data node, or I think we can do up to three here on this basic account. So we'll just set it to one. We can pick which version of IOP we want, which is IBM Open Platform. And right now, we can do either 4.2, or there's a 4.3 tech preview. And there's some cloud storage, uh, um, and that's a configuration we won't mess with right here. And then down here, we can see a listing of different, uh, there's mandatory components and optional components. You want to talk about those for a minute, Henry? Yeah, no, absolutely. So some of the mandatory components are needed for all the services to run with Ambari. And HDFS is the basic Hadoop file system. And once you have that set up, some of the other components just help make the, the gears turn. We're not going to get into the details of that on this video, but essentially those are required for the cluster to be set up. For the additional components or the optional ones, you know, if you want to use things like Spark or Pig or Scoop, you know, to move data across, then definitely you can add those. But for the purpose of our video, we're just going to create a simple cluster and leave it with the mandatory components. Nice, excellent. So it can take a few minutes to basically provision a cluster. So I'm not going to going to click create here. But the amazing thing is, like I just said, it only takes a few minutes. I mean, that's just insanely quick to be able to have a cluster up and running. So what we're going to do here, Henry, is uh, I'm going to turn the screen sharing over to you. And we can have you just show a cluster that you already created. And we'll do give people a sneak peek of that. And then we can uh, finish up this video and keep it short. So All right. stop screen sharing. Let there me we go. Know. Can you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Let me bring this into a full screen mode. So what I have here is basically a cluster that I had set up already, so we didn't have to wait for the um, provisioning to, to happen. And you know, you'll have a cluster here. If you have multiple clusters, they'll all show up on this page here. Um, I have one cluster, one management node, one data node, and it's active. And in fact, this cluster is going to expire today. So we have a couple hours left before we need to get this video done. A <laughs> um, couple of actions you can do here on the screen. If you ever find out that you need additional data nodes, let's say you started off with one, and later you figure out you might need another one you know, for whatever testing that you might be doing, come here to the Actions page, and then you can click on Add Node. I'm going to do that now, show you what it looks like here. So this will bring the total number of nodes to two nodes, and it will tell you how much it costs per hour and also the, the amount of disk space that you need. Uh, let me cancel out of here, get us back to the other screen, and go into the cluster information. All right. So one of the things you should pay attention to is the SSH host URL. This is where you can SSH into your cluster using PuTTY or any type of SSH software to remotely connect into it. And there's also other URLs if you need to access those services, such as the Hive URL or the Web HDFS URL. We're not going to get into those details here today. Um, a few other things you want to take a look at is, you know, maybe your data center is in a location that's closest to you, uh, the version of the IOP that you're using, and some of the other options that have been listed and set up for your cluster. Um, node type, you know, just explaining a little bit about what the different types of nodes are running on this cluster and how many V, CPU, and RAM are on those um, different nodes. Okay, so once you have this set up, what do you do next? Um, we can SSH into the cluster to view the different services, or we can launch Embari. And, and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and launch Embari just to give you guys all a preview of what it looks like. Nice. Launch it. And you know what I like, Henry, is that since I'm the presenter of this meeting, whenever I make a little sound or talk, it goes right to a nice video of me. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So let me sign in. This is the user ID and password that you enter in when you initially created the cluster. So because this is my account, I have it on my own ID. It's always difficult to type when you're in real time, but I'm glad I got that one working. <laughs> Perfect. OK, and so far it's been pretty simple. You just um, you know, sign in, provision a cluster, um, add the nodes that you need, the services that are required, and then they bring you directly into this Ambari view. 
Um, Aaron, anything else you want to talk about on this particular page? Geez, uh, you know, one thing I just want to mention is that to people that this is, it's just so nice. It's so simple to get this set up. And I like that. Uh, I always tell people, you know, I'm lazy and I say it jokingly in quotes. I don't want to do more work than is needed to be able to get my job done and do it well. And I really like that you can just create this cluster. It's really cheap. Um, I think, Henry, can, can you uh, get a, a trial account and run this for maybe like 30 days type of thing for free? Is there something like that going on? Yeah, so definitely, you know, number one is you need to set up a Bluemix account. And I believe we get 30 days to begin with, so let you play with all the different services. And of course, IBM Big Insights is just one of many, many services that is offered through IBM Bluemix. And so if you're interested in any other products, definitely check that out and see what's available to you. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, and I've you know played around with the MySQL for Compose service, which I like. I like to play around with MySQL. It's just something I kind of have fun fiddling with. And I mean, it was just so easy to you know set it up pretty much just one click and bam, I have a MySQL database I could play with. And I could hook it up to the Big Insights cluster I had and do cool things like that. So carry on, sir. Yeah, um, so basically, I think that's all we wanted to show you all today. Um, I'll turn it back over to you, Aaron, for final thoughts. Awesome. Yeah, stop sharing your screen. Let's get a, a glimpse of you, sir. All right. There he is. There he is, folks. All right. We're going to keep it short today, guys and gals. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Let us know if you enjoyed this. And keep on munging data. Keep on rocking. All right. We'll see you all later.